Unless you've been sitting on a rock, AI chat GPT has been all the rage. But how as an Amazon seller can we actually use this to our advantage in a very practical way? In this video, I will show you a set of chat GPT prompts that can offer very insightful analysis on your competition and also create some of the best listing copies that you cannot even get even with $100 an hour copywriter. So if you actually prepared to be amazed with how we could actually leverage chat GPT or Amazon, stay tuned. I'm Rick Wong, an Amazon seller and also the founder of Seller Metrics and Amazon on PPC agency. And if you're interested in content such as this one, where we talk about the latest Amazon FBA news, tips, and hacks, I suggest you to subscribe. Okay, so uh, I've been playing a lot around with ChatGPT, looking for ways how Amazon sellers can use this to their business. And I kind of develop a set of prompts that allows us to kind of do analysis on our competition's reviews and output analysis, insightful analysis, and number two, bullets, and also a well-optimized description. Right. Okay, so I really hope that uh, you enjoy this video and, uh, you know, kind of give you like a practical way to kind of use chat GPT. There's a lot of things that you can do with it. I'm always like still learning as I go. So don't be surprised if I actually come up with another chat GPT videos in, in the ways how we could actually do some analysis, not just on the actual listing copy, but maybe we could do like chat GPT, how we could help you on Amazon PPC and also maybe inventory management, right? Or even like negative reviews analysis as well. If you actually, um, you know, interested in anything chat GPT with Amazon, suggest you subscribe. I will definitely produce more content uh, around that subject matter. So uh, for this to work, uh, you need the following. You need uh, number one, a chat GPT accounts. Uh, so I uh, have a chat GPT plus, but you can also use it on the normal chat GPT as well. So for me, I use chat GPT plus because I don't want any downtime when using when I record this. And two, you also will be using the Helium 10 Chrome extension and the and specifically the review insight function. Basically, we are going to scrape the reviews from our competition. Right, and then we are going to um, input that into Chat GPT, and finally you're going to require the prompts, right? So I kind of create a set of prompts here uh, that uh, allows uh, Chat GPT to uh, output the proper results after the analysis of the reviews, right? Okay, the steps are as follows. Uh, first, we are going to train the AI using the reviews from the competition. And then we're gonna prompt a set of questions for ChatGTP to analyze and affirm the data that it collected from step number one. And number three, we're gonna get it to write bullet points using what uh, people in the ChatGPT community as writing as. So for us, we're gonna tell ChatGPT to write uh, the listing copy, uh, basically bullet points in a certain uh, tone in a certain style, right? And the same thing with number four, when we actually prompt it to write a description. Okay, so let's start by, um, you know, training the AI. So we're gonna train the AI with Amazon review. We are going to download 100 reviews from the top uh, five organic competition using Helium 10 Chrome extension. Then we are gonna input these uh, results into chat GDT. And this is how we're gonna do it, right? Uh, seed product keywords. So the product that we are looking at is ab roller. So uh, what are we gonna do when we prompt it is that we are going to uh, input in the chat GPT uh, input box, app roller, Amazon review set number one, and then uh, paste the 100 reviews that we collect uh, from Helium 10. So to collect the, um, you know, the data from Helium 10, you're gonna do this for five uh, listing uh, from the organic results. So that's basically results that doesn't have the sponsor ranking on it, right? So we are gonna do uh, the review insights on the actual results. And we're gonna go to like all reviews and you're gonna sort it by most recent apply, apply filters, export reviews. So once that's done, you can consolidate the results. So uh, once you consolidate the results, right, you have like a kind of like a master CSV file, right, with all the data in it, right? And this is what we're gonna basically use to train the model. So the prompt is uh, basically would be this, and you're gonna insert it with your C keyword, app roller, and then you are gonna go to the next line. So the next line will shift, uh, enter, and uh, you are going to um, basically um, train the first 100 and uh, just basically copy the body row and then uh, paste it, press enter. 
I think ChatGPT will come out with like results uh, in terms of um, analyzing it. So you're gonna tell them to more or less just, like just uh, stop doing it, uh, and then you're gonna basically do this like five times. Um, so uh, ab roller uh, set number two. I'm gonna copy this, and then the next 100. You could just stop it to, from generating additional results until we uh, enter in all all five uh, data sets. And roller data set three. So that would be the next. And then lastly, uh, set five. And why one to 500 is that of uh, data significance, right? You actually like um, train the chat GPT with only 100 reviews. That's just not nearly enough, right? You want to make sure that, you know, the number of reviews that uh, you input has some sort of statistical significance and 500 in my um, experience is like good enough for you to kind of have like that uh, type of confidence in the actual uh, results and analysis from chat GPT. Okay, so we're gonna tell us to stop generating. So the next target, we actually trained it with uh, 500 reviews from our uh, competition. The next is that we're gonna do the following prompt and tell it to do some additional analysis from that 500 review, right? So we are going to um, paste this prompt right here, prompting it and asking it some interesting questions on those reviews. And uh, let's see what the answer, what they come up with. So let's just say uh, app roller. So that is uh, so C keyword here. App roller. Okay, so it's gonna like come up with like the insights, uh, the pain points. Okay, so if you actually look at the results, uh, it gives you some uh, the insights. Uh, that's um, it seems like a lot of people use it to strengthen their core muscles. Uh, seems like kind of obvious. And it seems like it's also a um, huge factor is also the comfort with the grips. That makes sense because you actually really like put a lot of strength on it. And also uh, if it's something that's like uh, used in gyms, it's also have a credibility, trust with the buyers. Uh, so there's some negative reviews as well. So something, co someone comment on the spring uh, mechanism and also the handles is not really fitting. Um, and, uh, and then also, it also tells you the top five pain points, uh, durability, lack of resistance. So I guess like for this, having resistance in the machine is actually important. Also noise, right? Noise from the machine. So that is actually uh, annoyance when you actually working out, like a lot of weird noise is coming out. Uh, so that would be very interesting. So when you're actually testing the product, you can make sure that uh, these pain points are not within the product, or maybe like you could actually look to improve the product by uh, basically, making sure the product will not hit these pain points. And then top five benefits, right? So, you know, comfort on the grips. So these are very good insights by just analyzing the reviews alone. And then the packaging recommendation tells you what uh, packaging that uh, it seems like there's some packaging recommendations coming from the reviews. Foam inserts within the ab roller, it seems to be a plus to make sure that um, the actual product won't um, break. Yeah, so basically, and also I think another interesting, yeah, so this number eight is actually pretty interesting. So what can we actually add on to the product to make it a lot more competitive? So it seems like a lot of them added mats, knee pads, right? With the product, uh, some resistant bands as well, instructional booklet, digital guide. So I think that like an ebook, that you could actually create with the product will actually give you a competitive advantage. And some of them actually has an app. So I think app is actually a pretty interesting idea when you actually kind of pair it with your product. So important question consider, how can the uh, design be improved to address? Okay, that's very broad, so that doesn't really help out. But anyways, all this information is actually very important. And uh, I feel like, yeah, basically we have like a lot here that we could actually work around. So if you, if you actually uh, click on continue uh, generation, it actually gives you uh, additional responses as well. How can a packaging be sustained? So eco-friendly, aligned with the customer preference for environmentally conscious products okay so i guess like the audience i uh, find this um find this to be very important uh, the actual uh, brand to be environmentally conscious so maybe that's something that you could actually add it to your ad copy 
So the next prompt is that we are going to help ChatGPT to write 21 bullet points, right? Because why 21? Because, uh, you know, 21 is very easy for ChatGPT to write additional bullet points. Why not have them to write like a set amount? So we can uh, basically just pick and choose which one that uh, we want to use in our listing copy. Not only that, we have like those six requirements as well in terms of like a formatting. Uh, what's a key forming requirement is also like the length of the bullets, the tone. I also want the verbiage add to cart to one of like the bullet points as well. And also like a style, right? You're telling them what to write as, right? So for this, we're gonna tell them the style needs to be written like a high paid e-commerce copywriter, like the most amazing copywriter, like right in that style. And then, um, yeah, and then uh, let's like see what comes up with, with the prompt. Okay, so uh, now that I added a prompt here to kind of get them to write, uh, ChatGPT to write 21 bullet points, you can see the results, right? Um, you know, they kind of hit on like making sure that, you know, this benefits your core. So unleash your six pack abs, sustainability, you know, talk about economic, basically economic handles that basically the feel of the handles are actually very important. And also talk about the material as well. And then I think, uh, yeah, it hits on some of like the benefits of the actual products. So built in knee pads, right? So maybe you could add this uh, product to your roller as well. So it seems like it's actually a very important side product with the roller. And then you have like some of them that has like add to cart, basically like call to action and some of the bullets, uh, which could help uh, conversion a bit. So you can see like these 21 bullet points. And if you're not happy with the responses, you can easily just tell chat GPT to say, can I get another version of the 21 bullet points? There you go. So if you're not happy with the 21, you could just basically prompt it to give you another set of 21 uh, until you are satisfied with the results. Okay, lastly, we are going to tell ChatGPT to write a good Amazon uh, listing description, a killer one at that. So this is the prompt that I would use. And uh, I'm gonna replace the C keyword right here, app roller. And uh, these are the requirements that I want them to adhere to when writing the description. It cannot be more than 2000 characters and has to be more than uh, 1900 characters. Okay, uh, so let's just see what it comes up with. Yeah, there we go. So this is the this is the results for the ad copy for the listing description, right? So it kind of hits on all the important points, um, the actual uh, spring resistance, the spring is all important, the materials. Uh, so this thing is supposed to strengthen your core and uh, basically help, help you shred fat. Yeah, very good listing copy. I could never like write this uh, for sure with the time given. So while I've been doing this uh, right now for like 20 minutes, yeah, like I, I definitely would not come up to this listing copy. Yeah, that's like amazing. Okay, so uh, just to review what we just covered, right? Number one, we train ChatGPT with the reviews from our competition. Two, we actually tell them, tell ChatGPT to do an analysis on the review and gives us some really insightful insights in terms of how we could market a product or maybe even improve on the product via product development, right? And then we're gonna ask uh, ChatGPT to kind of come up with 21 well-optimized bullet points, right? For us to potentially use in our listing. And lastly, we got ChatGPT to write us a killer uh, listing copy for our uh, Amazon listing description. And this is how, uh, you know, you can use ChatGPT in a very practical way, in a very step-by-step -step type of fashion. As I mentioned, if you actually want a copy of the prompts, uh, I will list it in the link below. Basically, I'll link the slide. Uh, basically, you can just copy and also follow along in this video that uh, I have just recorded here. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you're an Amazon seller and want to grow your business, schedule a call with me in the link below. And until the next video drop, happy selling.